you've brought us some show and tell today. I did. So IBM recently announced a $3 billion investment in chips. And um, if you're sitting way back in the back of the room, you're going to need to squint because Bridget has brought us something to okay. look at. Tell us what you have. So I, I'm going to hold this still. I hope it can be seen. She says I should be yeah. in. Um, and then I'm going to let Jesse hang on to it. So let me just, as I'm handing it to Jesse, this thing that looks like a little Godiva chocolate next to your bed at night in the, re in the hotel. This is, um, we have an announced $3 billion in investing in chips beyond silicon because everything I've said about big data and the exponential data we're going to be using in the world around us means that silicon won't be able to do it anymore in terms of size and power. So what Jesse's holding here is um, actually a chip made out of graphene. Graphene is one atom thick. So the coating on this is one atom thick. Um, and this chip, if we were to put it in your mobile phone, I mean, this would, I'm sure you're all going to want to buy one now. No, Jesse did when I told you. This would run your phone for a week. You wouldn't need a new battery, right? And nobody would need to plug, nobody would need to plug their phone in, no battery for a week, right. and it would essentially m make the processing speed much faster. So graphene is a substance that we've been experimenting with to use for chips beyond silicon. We've also been looking at other technologies um, such as quantum devices, which can do much, much more parallel processing. Um, Prototonics, which actually use pulses of light rather than copper. So in fact, the speed of the chips are 10, are 10 times as fast. And then really interesting in terms of going back to Watson, a thing called synaptic computing, where we are working with carbon-based substances in order to try and model synapses, like a neural network in your brain. And I th what we hope to do over time, and we've got some first tastes of success here, um, is essentially get a more balanced brain computing capability. So synaptic computing gives the potential for sensory skills, perception, smell, taste. Um, and we believe that with that kind of capability, we will actually potentially even balance Watson's brain. So he, he or she will be left and right brain, which is quite exciting for us.